I think that um, definitely this is a district that cares about their representation and you know, knows that I've done that pretty well here in Jeffersonville over the last seven years. On one side of the aisle is Republican Matt Owen, who became the youngest person elected to Jeffersonville's city council. On the other is Democrat Rita Fleming, who delivered babies for decades in southern Indiana. When I go door to door and talk to people, very few have even asked me if I'm a Democrat or Republican. Most of them want to know that I will sit down and talk, that I will listen. That is the most important part of being a physician. Both pledge to continue promoting economic development, but differ on whether to raise the minimum wage. What we really need is help with our workforce development. And um, you know, I think that that's gonna be a top priority of mine in working with Governor Holcomb uh, to get some of those workforce development do dollars down here. I think you look at what the workers need and what the businesses, the employers need, because you need a win-win situation. But I cannot imagine anyone winning when they make $7.25 an hour. Both say their professions give them the right background to fight the opioid crisis. There is a lot that we can do about that in terms of prevention in schools, in terms of identifying best practices that physicians and hospitals can do, other issues, uh, other ways of controlling pain. Uh, my experience and my background working on the ambulance uh, in people's living rooms, helping them as they're going through this right now. Um, I think that's perspective that's needed in Indianapolis. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.